Hello everyone, Dane here, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about Apple's M1 series of chips, and more specifically about how many displays each of the different chips support. I've seen and heard a lot of questions about this, and so I thought I might uh, put out a video to help answer that, and uh, so we're going to jump right into it. <laughs> So for the M1 chip, the one that is found in Apple's MacBook Air, as well as the 13 inch MacBook Pro, the one with the touch bar, the ones that came out in 2020, those specific uh, chips support one external display. Uh, and to me, that was a pretty huge shortcoming of these chips. I personally, I love using multiple large displays. I love having lots of screen real estate. It just helps me feel more productive and I like you know, using those multiple displays. And so when I heard that the M1 series of chips only supported one external display, that for me just wasn't gonna cut it. And so I, uh, you know, I held off myself, but uh, so, you know, an example of that, you could have uh, your MacBook Air or your MacBook 13 inch MacBook Pro, you could connect it directly to one external display. And even if you go out and buy a dock and you hook up your M1 MacBook Air to that dock, uh, you know, it may have two different imports for a display, but it, you're only going to be able to natively su support one external display from that M1 chip. So when I heard that the new M1 Pro and M1 Max series of chips was coming out, I was pretty excited, um, especially when I heard that they support multiple displays. So uh, if you have either the 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip inside, it will support two external displays, where here you can see that an M1 Pro can support two external displays. Now, one thing that's kind of nice is if you do have a dock, you can actually plug your dock into your MacBook Pro and that can charge it, and then it will actually run the signal to both external displays through just one cable, one connection. So I have a Thunder Thunderbolt 3 Elgato dock here, and uh, it seems to work pretty well for me. Now, if you're like me and you like having that tons of real estate, then uh, you're gonna have the M1 Max version of the MacBook Pro. Uh, that to me was kind of a, a no-brainer. You know, I, I always like having uh, more power, right? So. I've got the Mac, the 14 inch MacBook Pro here with the M1 Max chip inside it, and it can run up to three 6K external monitors, as well as one 4K 60 frames per second 4K monitor through the HDMI port. All right, so here's the next test that I'm going to go through where I have set up here three external monitors and then here I have a fourth external 4K 60Hz display. So I haven't tried this yet so we're going to plug this in and see how it goes. I'm going to plug that in over here. And now you can see that I now have the internal display as well as four external displays all running 4K 60 Hertz. That is pretty fantastic. Having this tiny laptop push out four 4K displays as well as a nearly 4K internal display is incredible. So just to recap, the M1 supports one external display. 
the M1 Pro supports up to two external displays, while the M1 Max can support up to four external displays. The last thing I want to talk about is this Elgato Thunderbolt 3 docking station, which does deliver 85 watts of power to the laptop. So using my 14 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro, I can plug in just a single cable and get power as well as drive two external 4K at 60 Hertz displays all through just one cable. So you can see I have this connected here and the dock actually has uh, one USB-A port, a headphone jack, as well as a microphone jack in the front. And then around the back, it also has an ethernet jack, two more USB-C A jacks, a Thunderbolt 3 pass-through, as well as the Thunderbolt 3 that goes out to the computer, a display port, and then the power in. So all that powered from just one Thunderbolt 3 cable. Coming in from the MacBook Pro to drive two external displays. And it's actually a pretty great experience. I have seen this dock for sale on Costco for as little as 140 bucks and for that I think it's a fantastic deal a great dock for the money and you're probably not going to find anything better um, that really works well and honestly I've had zero issues with it it worked with my 2019 Intel MacBook Pro 16 inch and uh, I just picked up this new M1 Max MacBook Pro and was able to plug it in and use it without any issues at all whatsoever Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see more content like this in the future, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll see my videos as they come out in the future. Also, uh, you know, I'd love to hear more about um, your setup, your desktop setup, how many external monitors do you currently use? Um, you know, what are your favorite monitors to use with the new Mac MacBook Pros? And uh, if you have any other information, you know, go ahead and share it down in the comments. I'll be sure to take a look at those. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, hope you have a great day. And thanks for watching.